Hey everybody, Rick's here. I wanted to do an update video to go with the first one I did and the only one I did on the subject of keto and intermittent fasting uh, because this is kind of a three year after the <sighs> just want to make sure that my video doesn't get flagged for saying that P word, you know, uh, that we had to go through for the last uh, two and a half years. But I wanted to give you an update as to whether I was still doing the diet, uh, what's my current health situation, uh, you know, am I still doing it, et cetera, et cetera. So let me just get to the point because I don't want to drag this out longer than it needs to be. Okay, during the, uh, the L down uh, for two and a half years when we couldn't really do much, couldn't really go anywhere, they locked the gym, you know, they wouldn't let us in. Uh, things just were closing down and so forth. Uh, for that two year period, I got pretty bored and uh, I pretty much stopped doing the keto. I obviously stopped working out because I couldn't go to the gym and I was just eating a bunch of junk and went back to carbs and things just fell apart from that point on, uh, unfortunately. Uh, if you remember the first video, hopefully you've already seen the first video, if you haven't, uh, there it is right there if you, you want to go check that one out. I was 60 years old uh, when I did that one and that one was done just a few weeks after I had been at that time the highest weight I ever been which was like 236 pounds but the worst situation was that my health was a mess. Fatty liver, pre-diabetic, uh, hypoglycemic, I mean I, I was a mess and then eight weeks later I went and had my blood done and my panels done and my hemoglobin A1C was 5.3, no more fatty liver, no more pre-diabetic, nothing. I didn't mention all that in that video I don't think. But anyway, and, and, and I had got down to a slim weight, felt great, felt younger, the whole bit. And then during, you know, the so-called lock down, um, you know, I gained all my weight back plus more. Yeah, I went up to 240 pounds. This time, however, which was so interesting is that at 240 pounds, I did not look as bad as I did prior when I was at 236. I still had good muscle definition. Uh, even though I was weight wise, I was much heavier. I wasn't my health was not as bad as it was before. So you know what? There's some carryover benefits. So here I was able to gain more weight, and yet at the same time, I, I wasn't in the same bad health situation. I didn't look bloated up and everything. I actually didn't look that much different than I do at this moment right now. Uh, and I know where, I'm in the teens right now, I'm like 216 at the moment, which is actually higher than I was in that video when I had lost my weight, because I think I had gone down to around 208 in that video. I'm at 216 as of this morning. Uh, you know, I fit into a lot of my older clothes and feel great. I'm back in the gym again. And I'm back on keto. I've been on keto now for just a few weeks and so forth. And immediately, immediately the benefits all showing up again. Everything just showing up. And I've just completely cut carbs out. I mean, it's just like once in a while I would cheat, get some gummy bears or something like that. And then I would suffer for the next few days. I mean, I'd, I'd sit there and I'd gain weight and I'd feel a little sluggish and I'd have cravings and I'd be hungry and everything else. So the bottom line is, just to let you guys all know, I'm, I'm still, well I should say I'm back on track, feeling great right now. I'm lifting way heavier weights than I was back when I was 60. I'm 63 now. So this is, you might say, the three year update. And I'm just hoping that this motivates you if you're on the fence and wondering, oh no, you know, this isn't something you can do long term, whatever. Yeah, you might actually fall off the wagon like I did. We, we don't know what's going to happen in, the, in worldly events. We don't know when they're going to, you know, 
close places up. You can't go work out, whatever. Of course, you can work out at home, but, you know, I mean, to be perfectly honest, boredom does kind of cause people to fall off the wagon and so forth. Hopefully, I don't ever do that again. I, I happen to like feeling good rather than feeling bad. But I want to motivate all of you guys who are on the fence or just wondering if this is something that's doable. Yeah, it's doable, and it's doable even though I'm older now than I was then. It's still working for me. I'm really happy with that. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.